Welcome to Let's Recap, your go-to channel for quick movie summaries. Today, we delve into the thought-provoking journey of Yes God Yes. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting recaps. The movie starts with Alice, a student who joins a rigorous code Catholic high school in the Midwest. Father Murphy teaches in morality class that having intimate intercourse outside of heterosexual marriage is sinful and will learn the sinner eternal damnation. After class, Alice questioned her best mate Laura about the sinfulness of playing with one's own secret garden. Laura believes, adding that Alice's continuous viewing of the vehicle scenario from the Titanic is likewise sinful. In an effort to justify herself, Alice says that her only driving force is curiosity. Later, while Alice is at the house alone, a message from an unknown sender requests information about her name, age, and location. Alice tells a lie, and the stranger demands to see her photo. Alice shows the stranger a picture of her friend. Next, the stranger proposes online mating. Unaware of it before, Alice joins in by putting her hand inside her skirt. When her mother calls, she hurriedly switches the computer off. It's Monday, and apparently, Alice trash weighed salad, according to a student who told Alice about the allegation. Alice rejects this and tells that she didn't understand the meaning of these statements. Alice leaves, once the boys sitting next begin laughing at her after she licks the chocolate slit. When Mrs. Veda hears about the gossip, she prevents Alice from participating in Mass. She counsels Alice to treat her body with honor because it is a divine gift. Alice is utterly ignorant and unaware of the subject at hand. At the Sacrament of Reconciliation later that day, Alice confesses venial sins to Father Murphy. He assigns her a simple twenty-prayer penance which she instantly and zealously completes in the school chapel in an effort to break her bad habits. Father Murphy and Mrs. Veda's comments regarding lovemaking and relationships are still resonating in her thoughts, so she is motivated to do so, to attend the upcoming Kirkus spiritual retreat organized by their school. Alice and Laura both are on their way to it. Laura is thrilled to hear that her friend Neem is a retreat leader when they get to the retreat campsite, while Alice is captivated by Chris, a charming senior who is also a retreat leader. According to the rules, Neem asks Alice to hand over her phone and her watch, as it could interfere with her experience here. Alice claims to have forgotten her phone as she gives Nina her watch. During the first grouping, Father Murphy hands out sheets with choices to pupils, telling them to circle any feelings they may have had during the past year or two. One of the feelings that Alice circles is turned on, but she later changes her mind and attempts to remove the circle, but she couldn't do it. As the clock counts down, Alice swiftly obliterates the word and hands the paper in. While playing with her phone that evening, Alice unintentionally learns how to enjoy herself by utilizing her phone's vibrating feature. But she notices a crucifix hanging in the chamber and quits the game. After sensing a mobile phone vibration on the next day, Mina goes to Alice's room and finds that Alice had kept her phone from her. Father Murphy gives Alice the task of cleaning up around the retreat house as a punishment. While she is alone, she accesses an online chat room on Father Murphy's work computer and asks what tossing salad implies. But before she has a chance to find out, she hastily turns off the computer and gets up to go because she hears footsteps. Father Murphy discovers an improper discussion on his computer on the third day of the retreat and makes a public broadcast about it. He then urges the persons responsible to come forward. Obviously, nobody takes the blame. 
Father Murphy later asks each pupil an individual inquiry to find out who accessed his computer. He quizzes Alice about her feelings of being turned on and presses her to admit to her relation with Wade. Father doesn't accept Alice's explanation that her peers are only spreading that rumor. Since she's had enough of the rumor, Alice confronts Wade. Wade is asked to let everyone know that there was no confrontation between them, but he refuses to speak up and leaves without taking responsibility for his actions or offering an apology. And Nettle and La Cuisine, Alice remarked to Neen and Bray's unhaught dirige in Dan's law for at that mange soccer on. When Alice sees them, she strokes hers with a broomstick with delight. Later, Alice tells Laura about, but Laura doesn't believe her and names her a pervy maniac which causes their friendship to break up. After, Alice decides to blame Wade for his ill-treatment of her. So she walks into Father Murphy's office and places Wade's bracelet next to his computer. As she hears Father Murphy walking in, she dashes into a room to hide. Hiddenly, she is unexpectedly surprised to discover Father Murphy viewing an adult game on his computer while playing with his wiener. After a while, Alice bumps into Chris as she is leaving, and he queries her if everything is all well. All of a sudden, Alice kisses him, but when she starts turned on, Chris flees. Alice departs the campsite that evening because she is sick of the stories and lies. She stumbles onto a women's bar and shares his concerns with Gina, the proprietor, about how a teen's growth might be hampered by a dread of damnation. Gina tells Alice that each person has a dark secret that they like to keep to themselves. Gina transports Alice back to the retreat in her car. Lastly, Alice's concern about what tossing salad signifies was allayed by suggesting that she research universities on both the West and East Coasts. Today is the latest day of the retreat. Wade is pulled aside by Father Murphy after discovering his bracelet in his office, while Alice makes friends with a socially awkward student. Laura also apologizes to Alice for being no longer understanding and open with her, which resulted from the words she uttered. Father Murphy asks the pupils to share their retreat lessons and experiences gained as the retreat wraps up. Alice talks about her experiences and encourages the pupils to treat one another with respect and honesty, just as Jesus would have wished. She also points out that everyone is concealing something. As Gina suggested, Alice returns home and starts looking at institutions on the East and West Coasts. Chris is still uneasy when Alice runs into him at school and reassures him that they may remain friends. Returning to confession with Father Murphy, Alice bravely confesses to him that she saw a video of individuals making out and doing other things while she was on the retreat. Both Alice and Father Murphy are aware of the consequences of her confession, but do not discuss it. Father Murphy gave Alice a heavier penance of 100 prayers, but instead of staying in the chapel, she left to go home and watch the Titanic vehicle scenario again while indulging in self-pleasure.